I have decided to remake Vampire Survivors, but it's going to be worse because I'm just using JavaScript to make it. Who came up with this idea? So you heard right. We're going to make a game only using JavaScript. It's just going to have one single index HTML file. No game engine, no libraries. We'll just experience the pure joy of one file with thousands and thousands of lines of spaghetti, or what I like to call drying my hardest. Let's start the way every great indie game starts, with weeks and weeks of concept art, world building, narrative, and for all that to be thrown away, because, oh, I got ahead of myself again. We might not even have a player controller set up yet. But I already designed the last puzzle. It's done in the marketing and the Steam page. It's soon to be in the Italy a roguelike dungeon crawler, puzzler, romance, live action, reboot of... So we need to start with a game loop. We don't really get anything for free here. I tried starting with just a basic while loop, but soon moved on to set interval instead. We need a character walking around the screen. I made a player class with two methods mainly, update and draw. I store a list of all of the game objects in the world, and then every frame. I iterate over all those objects to call their update methods and their draw methods. To get the character walking, I just need to handle setting input variables based off of the key presses, and then moving the XY position of our player class. Then to create enemies, I create an enemy class. I can create objects that I insert into the big game world game objects array. And then within their update methods, I move them towards the player every frame. They're really not doing anything fancy at this point. They pile on top of each other and they just move directly at the player. To allow enemies to attack our player or vice versa, I added a very simple collision checking system. I've defined an attack radius around our player character. That is this white circle being drawn around the player at the moment. The player attacks every few seconds automatically, and then any enemy inside of that circle needs to get hit for a damage or whatever the player's strength is. The collision checks look something like this. We just need a point in the circle function. So we have the XY coordinates of our player, of all of the enemies, and the radius around our player, and we just need to check and see if any of the enemy coordinates are inside of that player attack radius. Or vice versa, we can do the same thing for enemies attacking the player or player attacking the enemies. The concept is the same either way. Now let's get some art into this thing. I wanted to include in a couple different weapons. First, we have this basic like disco ball attack. It's a ranged area of effect attack just around the player, same as we had earlier, except I pulled it out so that it spawns like pools around the player, similar to how Vampire Survivors has the Santa water. Then I've also included the spinning microphone attack. So it just does a 360 around the player and then anything that the top of the microphone comes into contact with, it does damage. It'll only attack an enemy once per rotation as well, so that it doesn't just spam attacks. Now let's see if it breaks. I'm gonna spawn in 10,000 enemies that spawn in in waves of circles around the player to see where this thing actually breaks. 
surprisingly even with this many enemies spawning you know 15 different attacks at a time it shockingly does pretty well i mean the frame rate of course gets hit it gets worse but for zero optimization not doing anything to make this run better it's really not as bad as i expected and finally we have a bunch of little features like i had to build a camera that actually follows the player around the screen obviously i didn't have any sort of tooling for animations so i had to build an animation class that keeps track of the current frame and then every time i run an update it increments to the next sprite there's a simple menu locked to the top of the screen that includes your health how many enemies you've killed your level and then a timer so how long the run has lasted at the top you'll see that blue bar that increments and fills up as you gain more experience there's these little effects when you hit an enemy that show how much damage you're doing i've added in these little candies that drop from the enemies and as you pick them up you add more experience and get closer to leveling up and then of course some special code for spawning these enemies in in waves thanks for watching